Now here we have a tooth that is non-restorable and as I said removing a, uh, a fractured molar teeth with divergent roots can be challenging. So I'm simply going to section I'm going to section the roots mesial and distally and this video shows that it's very important that you use your radiographs to determine correct um, uh, sectioning. Here we didn't section through the furcation and thus the tooth is still in one piece. You're gonna, it's going to be a challenge to remove. So I think it's important that you realize that you have to section through the furcation separating the roots so basically they are two separate uh, roots, single rooted bicuspid roots so to speak. I can then take my physics forcep very predictably without any pressure, with very, very uh, little pressure, very atraumatic to the patient and amaze the patient with the final result. So here I'm taking a, a 557 long surgical burr, sectioning, making sure I'm through, and then I'm taking my physics forcep. Here I'm using the, uh, the uh, universal mandibular forcep. I'm engaging the uh, the lingual aspect, one to three millimeters subgingival, placing the bumper as deep into the vestibule as possible, and simply rotating my wrist. I am not squeezing. There's no forearm. There's no uh, bicep. There's no shoulder pressure whatsoever. I'm simply rotating my wrist towards the shoulder, and in a matter of a minute or so, that root will come up and out of the socket, and I will have uh, a nice four-walled socket to deal with. In these situations, I will graft this site with one of the materials we'll demonstrate in a few minutes, allow it to heal, and then I can very predictably place an implant. It will prevent uh, bone loss and it will maximize the amount of bone I have for my eventual, eventual Han implant. So here we take our tooth delivery instrument and remove the roots in, in total.